This is how you bypass your VAT system in the 80s and 90s Camaros, Firebirds, and Corvettes. First thing you want to do is set your meter to ohms. Then you want to measure the resistance in that little pellet in the key, which we will do right now. You got to be a little careful to get it on there. But I'm getting 2.374, and that is your resistance in ohms. So then what you will do is you will buy resistors that match that, and then we'll go to the car and I'll show you how to splice it in. Here's the pack of resistors I got. As you see, they'll say 2.4K. Um, each chip, there's, a, there's I think there's like 17 different variants that you could have depending on the ignition that they put in your car, but each one has a range and it's a pretty loose range all things considered. So we got 2.375, 2.4 is pretty much right there and it falls within that range that we're that's acceptable and that the VAT system in the car will see as an okay key to use to start the vehicle. Then you're going to want to come under the driver's side dash and locate this pigtail. You can tell it because it has an orange uh, casing on two white wires and then it runs into the harness of the car. You want to cut it or you don't have to cut it you could just splice in that resistor between these two but I cut it just so Number one, it's just not hooked up to the steering column at all anymore, and you can just have a quick, easy disconnect uh, end with your resistor on it. So if it actually pretty much is like a kill switch. You pull this off, put it in your pocket or whatever, and uh, no one can start your car. Then we're just going to solder one side real quick. And then we'll solder the other side. All right, our resistor bypass plug is made. We can go plug it in the car and test it. All right, so it's plugged in as you can see. We'll come over, turn the key. We get a security light, and if it goes away, we're good, which we are. So now we can start the car if we wanted to. I'm not going to because it is currently being worked on. But thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.